think people are afraid of leaving friends, even when you know that they probably aren't the best for you. It's normal because we need protection and the body heat that the tribe provides. It's evolutionary. We need other people. But this is the most happiest and fulfilled period of my life, where I'm working on things I'm actually passionate about and I'm making good progress, and I'm pretty alone. For me at least, I think it's pretty motivating. It feels like I'm part of a secret club that no one knows about. I used to be pretty vocal about my lifestyle because it helped me, so I told my friends, you know, maybe it'll help them. But now I just see it as I am the wolf in sheep's clothing. On the outside, I act like everybody else. If someone in my class comes up to me and asks me, you know, what did you do yesterday? I just say, not much. I won't start telling him about my optimized morning routine for sunlight exposure and healthy circadian rhythm. Nobody gives a sh- I keep things civil. I think a lot of people immediately assume that, oh, you don't have any friends, so you must hate everyone. <laughs> but for, for the people who know me, you know that I'm actually a pretty socially calibrated person. I can talk to people. I'm not like the weird outcast. For me, friendship is on a spectrum. On the left being enemy and on the right being friend. When you're watching, I think it's going to be a mirror image. So you're going to have to use like seven brain cells to flip the image. In my life right now, most people just fall in the middle. If here is friend, some people are here, 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 here. They're close but they're not here yet. They're not at the friend part yet. So just to be clear, I don't like fucking hit everyone in school. I'm not like walking around with my hood up like, oh, these people don't know I'm internet famous. What a fucking dumb- I see people I know, I smile and I wave, that's fine. But I just, you have to acknowledge the fact that we are not on the same journey. Like our paths might, no, they, they might meet for a little while right now, but they're soon gonna diverge and split off. And that's okay. Most people that I thought were my friends in school were just instant gratification buddies. I'm not better than them per se, I'm just completely different from them. And by definition, to be friends with someone, you must have similarities. They don't follow my lifestyle the same way I don't have to follow theirs. It's as simple as that. I wasn't friends with them because we had similarities or because we wanted the best for each other. We were simply friends because I saw them 5 days a week. And some of your friendships might be like that as well. And the main thing people say is that you shouldn't go it alone because then you miss out on the whole social skills part, which is a big part of self-improvement. And that's true. You might become like a socially uncalibrated weirdo. But for me, it's the complete opposite. Ever since I reduced a lot of my friendships and just focused on myself and my own, like, you know, this YouTube channel and stuff, from this YouTube channel, I've become more popular than ever. I've become more socially capable than ever. I've become happier than ever. I think when you stop needing others around you, that's when you truly learn to love yourself. Not like the mainstream love yourself of like, oh, you love yourself even though you're fat as and your breath stinks. This is like love yourself because you built all of this for you. I didn't build this YouTube channel. Me from six months ago, procrastinating weeks between uploads. That dumb he built this channel. I'm just here to reap the rewards and continue the progress and grow it some more. The same is true for my health, my sleep, my body, and my grades. I didn't do it. Past me did. This is a relationship between you and past you. And it's the best relationship that you can foster. Damn, did I really just say foster? What the fuck? This is the only way to genuinely love yourself. When past you has set you up for success, you can't help but feel proud of yourself. And if he set you up for failure, you can't help but hate yourself. And this relationship between you and past you is something I think everyone should work on relentlessly. This is how you stop young men from killing themselves. And yeah, some of us can foster this like self-friendship without leaving your current relationships. Maybe. But for most of us, after a couple months, you're too different from your current friends to continue the friendship anyway. Don't have the mindset of like, oh, I have no friends, I'm going through my villain arc. It's not that you have no friends, it's just that you haven't found the right ones yet. So to finally answer the question, how do you be happy without friends? Well, when I'm alone, I'm working relentlessly on improving myself. That's why I'm so happy. And when you do set these high standards to want like the very very best for yourself, you realize that you need to stop talking to the people who don't want the best for you. That's not who you would consider a friend anymore because you've developed higher standards. Look at the people that you spend time with. Are your standards high enough? 
I keep asking that question because by now the past version of me would be looking around and been like, oh shit, I don't even have standards. Like I've literally never even thought about what a friend is supposed to mean. I've never written down a specified definition. And most people don't, which is why a lot of us just choose whoever is around. Personally, my definition of a friend is someone who truly wants the best for you and you want the best for them. And it's interesting because this whole self-love thing is when you start working hard for future use benefit. So in a way, to be happy without friends, you want the best for yourself, so you gotta become your own best friend. And so you're gonna have to be alone for a while, and that's okay. You're gonna have to be by yourself, but that's why it's called self-improvement. Bars. Like, yeah, people might say, you changed. Yeah. You didn't? Take action. This is what your mom did to me last night. <laughs> Alright, give me a kiss.